Welcome to Pasquale's Eye on the Arts. Hello everyone, this is Winnie Irony from Beverly Hills. I'm here in West Hollywood, Beverly Hill Cable uh, Station in the presence of an icon of Hollywood, Senator Pasquale, and showcasing Eye on, Pasquale Eye on the Arts. He is a fantastic artist and so different. I mean, work that I have seen in his museum, I'm really amazed because I have traveled the world and he's, he has a different touch to it. So let's talk about Senator Pascal. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, I'm so glad that you're hosting this show. Hey, <laughs> it's, you're <that's>, welcome. <laughs> things happen right away with you, don't they? <laughs> that's right, just like that. Yes. Well, uh, let's talk about what you have, the beautiful piece you have created for Arts for Peace Awards. Yes, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you made me an ambassador. And yes. we had, I really had a chance to meet wonderful ambassadors from all over the world. And uh, I, we talked about art, and we did all these great things. And people have asked me what my art is. Uh, I actually am a world photographic artist. I created an art form uh, called artography. Lord Kruger calls it uh, the art in photography is artography. Artography is a, a, a process that I created to give depth and dimension to the photograph. Mm -hmm. And it's been uh, amazing all these years. Can we? Talk, this is a simple things that you did, and you created such a beautiful stuff out of nothing. You made something yeah. beautiful out of nothing. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> so see? great about yes. uh, assemblage art, yes. uh, is that you can create things, and, and, and most of my things are... See, these are beads and stuff, beads yeah. Beads and nails and glass and yeah. all kinds of wonderful beautiful. things. Assemblage to me is a beautiful uh, period in art where we can assemble things and create things from nothing. Yes. And that's uh, what is. I'm able to do. And, you know, in my school, Artography Academy of Photographic Arts, uh, I started creating this for my students mm. so that they would have individual original portfolios. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Very so, nice. Very, very nice. And, you know, it's almost like cooking. You just so put it where, all together. So where do you get this stuff from? All over. All over. All okay. over. And my friends, you know, a lot of my friends are the Hollywood stars and political leaders and all. And they, they say, okay, Pasquale, we have something for you to do. The only problem is when I create the art, they want it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, and as I said, I, I created art and started the assemblage process because of my school and my models and photographers all coming together to have something original, something different. That's right. To make them think, you know. Well, that's your purpose. That's our purpose. That's, That's the right. Truth. Each one of us has contributing to run this whole system of the globe, you know? That's right. Yeah. Right. So tell me about how do you expect, tell me about how was your experience uh, being an artist to bring peace to the world? What do you recommend? How did it bring peace to you? How did you? Well, it's amazing uh, how art brings happiness to me. When I pick up something and I create something, it, it, it's, a, it's a good thing. And then, of course, I'm the founder of Sharing Friends of the Arts, Hollywood International, so I'm always sharing. Mm -hmm. You know, I meet somebody, we share. We do, uh, right now, through our television show, and we're looking for artists that we can talk about and we can promote the artists for their own good. Well, you know. it, can we talk to the artists? Uh, Senator Pasquale has a good program. He, ha he has taught arts in a long time in his academy. Right. Uh, we are going to open, like this year, we're going to raise funds for Beverly Hill Arts Academy. So this academy will have 23 schools. Absolutely. All different schools. So Senator Pasquale will be on boards with us, and then he will be teaching one of his arts. And um, so a lot of people are like you in Hollywood that not doing much after, you know, after a certain year, certain age you reach to. So, but in our, in our school, there's a hope for this artist. Yes, and you know, uh, when you think, when you say you, you want to teach to the children, to me, it's intergenerational. The children without are seniors. Mm -hmm. Seniors can help 
with the children. So it's 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 a whole purpose. That's right. And that That's is right. so important to That's be right. able to share life experiences. Because a lot know. of people in their when they get older, they have a tendency of getting depressed because there's too much time in their hand to think about it and not active like watching TV doing. So this activity I think is very satisfying because they are sharing. When you give it, you receive it. Exactly. So you th there's a feeling you feel so good. And some people, uh, when they're depressed, I also always tell them to write down everything you have and then write down everything negative you have. And then I said, okay, just compare. Sometimes they have so much here on the positive and they have one negative going in their life. And then one, I said, how can this be so bad? And when you have so much positive going, make you think a little bit. Right. So right, right. art is one of the, that's why I'm a strong admirer an art collector, I love it because I see your chi, I see your energy in in your art that you create. Right. Because this is who you are. Very artistic. Look, I want you to see his outfit. Okay. I just analyze his outfit, what he's wearing. Look at he has velvet shirt. And now how many? I will never picture my father wearing it. Never. Or my brother wearing it because they're not artists. They're just not kind of people. You know, they are scientists. They're boring. You know, artists have so much life in it. You so. know, I, I, speaking about what I'm wearing, this is leather and, and all different things, but I have a whole collection of uh, Pasquale Strut wearable art. And it's all collecting things from all the movies. Mm -hmm. And then we add the jewels and we add the feathers and then we put the music together and we really create amazing things. And when people wear it, they feel like they want to strut. You know, hats, hundreds and hundreds of hats, and all from things that are being repurposed. Mm -hmm. Repurposed art's very important now because you look at it years from now when you look and see little pieces and you figure out, well, what's that? What is this? Mm -hmm. It's almost giving history a chance through art to yeah. really see what b different people uh, have used in their daily life. So via arts, the platform of arts, all these different faith can come and join it Absolutely. because art has no language. You agree, right? Right. right. No As, disagreement. And we need arts because right. that's the only good language we can speak because all the faith has basically divided people. Right. And I'm a, I'm a very believer. I'm not against faith at all. I respect everybody. Why? Because who I am. Right. Because the space I have around me. So I always said, you know, if you're a religious leader is telling you to hate someone, run, <laughs> because he, he haven't got it yet. Exactly. He's not awakened yet. So you are more awakened, so just run away from that person. Because when you have love and compassion, it all comes in meditation. It all comes in silence. So that's why your art, when you're creating art, are you silence? Are you just... Uh, but um, how do you create art? Tell me. When I you don't. Uh, am I silent? Sometimes I'm. I'm playing classical music. Okay. Sometimes is the TV Coming. is on. Coming. You know, and I just have all these pieces, and they put them together, and it, it's amazing how you discover yourself in what you're doing just by by doing it. Next time, you know, when you when you're creating something, I want you to pay attention to the wo noise around it. So if you have a noise that's coming, you will see your artwork will be affected by that too. I am, I believe it. Right, yes. and, and if you have a TV on, because a lot of people say, that I'm relaxing watching TV. Uh, sometime, you're yeah, actually watching TV, your blood pressure can go up. It depends what you're watching, what program you're watching on the TV. You might have a program that you really, really get upset, your blood pressure is going blah, 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 blah. You know? I, I use it as a background. I love the old movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of my art is inspired by Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's quite amazing. We were eight years on Hollywood and Highland, and now we're moving our museum, and I moved it into 20th century props. And, you know, the moment I, we moved all of the stuff in there, I thought, my God, all of this is all is movie uh, props and things. Yeah. And to me, I've declared them now as art. Yes. I just hope that, you know, we're still on, we're not even unpacked yet, and we're still looking for another location because our hours don't work out. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll find a, the right home. I've got a lot of offers from different see, places. See, I see your collection have a private museum because he has a tremendous amount of arts. A private a museum, amount. and uh, if you wait a minute, let us take a few minutes short break, and we'll be right back, and we'll take you to Sandra Pasquale's museum for a little bit. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, 
welcome back. Senator Pasquale, <laughs> yeah, yes. well, it was wonderful seeing all yes. your arts. I mean, it's really great yes. uh, uh, to see your collection. And um, what do you think art will help our new students, young, young students? Oh, so to, important. Right? It, it, it inspires them. That's right. <clears throat> Especially when you do assemblage art. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I was director at Park La Brea for 12 years and created the Park La Brea Arts Council. And we had some children that came in from Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. and there were about it was a bus full of, of, of students. And I asked them, I said, H "How many of you feel your artist?" Mm -hmm. About six put their hands up. By the end of the class, they were so excited about that they can see art. Art is in their heart, and it's something that they all should be able to do in their spare time. The right. Grades have to be important, but also That's being right. able to discover, and creativity is the yeah. answer. Because I uh, see, when you, this is satisfying, it's food for your body. So the art comes to music, dance, sculpture, painting, martial arts. I'm a very martial big, arts is a, I'm is a very a big major. advocate of martial arts, yes. and that's why it, I think we created Art for Peace Awards for this platform, where everybody can come and join, and you can they can also everybody can join our community. Right, we have a community. Exactly, it's like a Facebook. You can create your profile, and you can meet somebody online, and you can connect. With, right. And this is a smaller uh, community because then you can meet people who are like you. And how so incredible that they can discover themselves in art mm -hmm. and the different cultures. That's right. I mean, it, it's all about culture. That's right. I mean, you look at art and you say, well, this is done by this person or that person. And it's amazing how we all can come together through the arts. That's, That's why right. I'm so excited about being an ambassador for your Arts for Peace because we have actually been doing this all my life. Mm -hmm. I've done peace doors, I've done all of this, but now through the people you are bringing together and make it all, let's have That's it right. all work. So peace is a big word. People using peace for so many centuries. Peace is not happening because it's, if you see in my lifetime, if I see 1980 and you see 2008 today, I see a big drop in students' attitude, behavior, respect, drug addiction, and all of this. Nothing is getting any big, uh, good anyway. We're not going up, we're going down. Morally, physically, emotionally, everywhere. Because first thing is in our school system, arts is taken away. Yes. In our school that system. That is the biggest crime. God is taken away. God knows that's a horrible word to use of God. It's right. good to surrender because when you don't surrender, you have nowhere to go. That's right. Because my husband never believed in anything, okay? And then every time he's in trouble, he'll say, Babe, can you pray for me? <laughs> can you pray for me? You know? So I'm a strong believer, and I know a belief can keep the kids in alignment, which is what we are here for, right. keeps them more aligned and basic. So I think I, I perceive our schools to have farms for the students to grow things. To, Absolutely. You, you know, like in my home, I have created a little garden. I have four grandkids, so I have little gardens for each one of them. Oh, my goodness, they're so excited. Oh, Mimi, good, look at this a cucumber coming out. I, they smell rosemary and mint. I make them eat because they're smelling, they're feeling, there's a dirt in there. It's right. very good for you because it keeps you very aligned and connected. And this is all arts. It's all, it's one entity, and it's all part of our soul. This is the way I look at it. Exactly. You know, my, my attitude is you don't have to have just art classes. I think That's there right. should be art in every single subject mm -hmm. because, you know, mathematicians, it's, it's about art. I mean, so bring art into all the programs, mm -hmm. and then you wouldn't have to worry about not having art. That's right. I think that's part of it, you know. But something needs to be done. Let me put it this way, because our students are really going off from the balance, at, and that's why you see uh, addictions and all these social issues, so much depression, people not happy. Uh, I have uh, someone I met uh, at the airport, you know, as I told you, I'm very present. So I, I started talking to him, and then and I told him, if you need someone, call me. He called me after a couple of days. I was just crying and crying and crying. I said, okay, so what happened? He said, I don't know. I'm very depressed. I'm very depressed. And I said, I started talking to him, and I said, look, uh, calm down. And I, I told him to take your time, breathe, and just start writing everything that's bad in your life, right? right. 
I said, do you shower in the morning? Yes, I did. Do you have a place to sleep? Yes, I do. Do you go to the bathroom? Yes, I did. I said, okay, so what's wrong with you? I don't know. I'm just so depressed. Oh, because my mom died when I was little. I said, really? That's not the cause. So I was able to get him more understanding. Of, but it's good to write every time you're depressed. So arts bring you, you know, right. when I, I have competed a lot. So I have 75 trophies. Oh, wow. Said 35 medallions. Mm. I have, you know, I've done a lot of competition. I lost one. And that I lost because at that time, you cannot be California champion second time. Oh, wow. So, so, so I, every time I'm creating, I'm in my basement, and I'm just working, designing, creating. The, and I didn't care for winning at all. I did not compete to win. I competed to show my work. And I didn't care. I just walked away, and I win every single time. You know, it, it's, it's amazing yes. how much you can uh, derive from being an artist. Mm -hmm. But you know what? One of the greatest things is for the people in the world to realize that they have art in them. Mm -hmm. You know, when they choose their clothes, when they decorate their homes, That's right. when they do all those kind of things. And to get the children and the seniors together and mentor each other, it makes it, it works. We have a wonderful children's program at, at Park La Brea, uh, uh, the Artery USA. Debbie Gilman has a, pr a program called Debbie Doodles. Oh, okay. And it's amazing, and it's an intergenerational program where people have the opportunity to come and work with the kids, and they create everything wonderful every week, mm -hmm. something new. And well, it, 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 it's so important. And, and what I love about it is because it's intergenerational. Either the nannies are there, the grandmothers and the grandfathers, or the, no, or the mothers of uh, parents, you know. That's nice. And, and they create all these wonderful little things that, that make themselves, they, they, they have an exhibition at the end. Mm -hmm. Competition in art is wonderful. But you take a people's vestige. You don't like it? Call Senator Fresco, and he'll make something out of it. It is amazing. Yeah. He takes things as broken glass and Mirrors. television yeah. and the wires. You just name it. He takes it and he makes it into a different. Because his eyes is perceiving. You see, everything that you see around you, everything that you see here, it's living. Yes. Everything has a life because everything is breathing. Yes. Okay? So we are also breathing and everything around here is is. Uh, deteriorating like you and I every day. So yes. this art that you created, it's your chi. Right, right. It's your energy. And to be able to share it. Because you're, you know, you're expressing through the art. And being an educator. You know, I, That's right. When I was elected, believe it or not, senator, and mm -hmm. I thought, how in the world am I going to be a senator? You know, they watched me at Park La Brea and they said, you need to run for this office. So I said, oh, okay. I had no idea when I got into Sacramento and here I am, and there wasn't even an arts committee in, 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 uh, on the Senate or the, or the, or the uh, assembly floor. Uh -huh. We created that. That's but good. But first I had to be in the health committee. And you know what? It's all about health. It's mm -hmm. all about sharing. It's all about teaching, learning, and being a part of a life, uh, life uh, plan that we can all make a difference. You That's know? right. And I, I get more out of being able to help someone else through the arts than I do my own art. Mm -hmm. You know, although I never stop creating. Well, you should never stop <laughs> creating because I think that keeps you young. Yes. That keeps you alive. When you lose, I have someone extremely talented, extremely talented, doing what is she doing? No? Scrubbing and cleaning the floor. I said, really? That's all you worth? If you're going to clean the floor, why did you go to school? Why, and why are not you, because you know, then you get so out of portion because you're not doing something you loved. Right, right. So I pushed her and I pushed her, I said, no, you go back and you get it. So, and if there's no place in my apartment, I say, you do. Right. Set it up a place. So I, she started doing some painting and I said, she said, Muni, that's the best recommendation you do. I feel something very special. Yeah. Because You're an educator. You share. You, you do these things. You, you bring people together. It's really yeah. amazing. I'm really excited <laughs> to see what you're doing in Beverly Hills. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're all over the world, but now you're bringing people back. That's right. You know, and the people that you bring into your fold, in the beginning, they kind of big expectations. That's right. Then they want things to happen right away, and they don't. 
And you know, it's it's funny how miraculously you are able to create people and keep them when they go away. They've all all gained something because of your spirit. Yeah, they they and, and they go away, but they don't go away from here. They're still right. here with me. So I I'm very present with everybody, because you know people come in your life, and there's so many people. You're just looking at it here. Why this person? Why this person? Even the person that's very mean to you, you know, they they come for a certain purpose to do a certain thing or teach you certain lesson to move away. So it's very important that you value everybody that comes in your life. That's right. The good and bad. The good and bad. That's right. Yes. And the bad is not bad, though. The bad was done to teach you something. Right. You know, like I was talking to you, uh, my 12 years of domestic violence was a very good experience for me because it made me more passionate. Actually, if I had not gone through that pain, I would be no, not that passionate to abuse. Really? And I, my passion is not just for women. I'm for men and children and any human that goes, animals that goes through it. So any abuse, I don't think it's normal. Right, right. So people abuse, they usually they're not mentally stable. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanted to mention uh, about this Please. sculpture. Actually, I created this sculpture through your vision and your your heart. Yeah. Because I know our logo for uh, Art for, Arts for Peace is a globe and it has a... Um, Dove, Dove, and it has a, a film strip bringing yeah. it into the Hollywood. But this I created just to, all the things that are in this particular sculpture are crystals and glass and all kinds of things that generate positiveness and it all comes from the earth. But it has and a lot of meaning. A lot of meaning. Okay, see the, the rod here at the, see, it, that designates we are one. Right. The globe and different colors represent diversity. Right. And the chipping of the of the of the crystals? your chips, your yeah. crystals, right. designating uh, wisdom. We are wisdom and arts. You are enlightened, right. and the dove is sitting on the globe, changing the shape of the globe. Right. So it has a deep meaning, uh, and it was created uh, because this is what exactly what I believe in. And the guy who created was a genius because. He gave me something so beautiful, and the sculpture has been created. This is so gorgeous. Thank you, Be thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and um, because, you know, today is a time, like, we all need to come together and do something, because how long are we going to be doing this? Look at how much commotion we have in our country. Right, so, right. So where are we going? I mean, where is the peace? What is going to happen? So the peace will come. Uh, via arts and wisdom. Because you, you can have the art, if, but if you don't have wisdom, you won't be aligned. And right. I'm encouraging right from the school system to start from the children. Right. I, my four grandkids, I put them through meditation. They're so adorable. They're so cute. Well, I met the little boy. He, yeah. he is something. He, <laughs> Very he, genius. Yes, yes. Very genius. These all children of, of today are, are amazing. All of them. But, yeah. they're, but they're calm, though. And they, yes. they get naughty, but they are still under control. They don't have all this lot of issues because I put them through meditation. Tell them, tell me about the school that you, um, uh, the uh, doctor. Uh, oh, tai Chi Minh Academy. Tai, yes, yes, yes. But tai Chi Minh Academy is uh, created by Dr. Hong from Era of Conscious. Right. Okay. This academy is a martial arts and wisdom. Right. And he wonderful has, people. Yeah, because he created a community where people are actually happy. I have spoken in 23 countries globally. Wow. And then uh, when I went to Taiwan, I, was, I spoke every single night uh, in front of 100 people, 150 people. And everybody was like this. I said, oh my goodness, I have never spoken in front of so many happy people. Why? Because they found them. And you, when you have tea and you found them, so see today too. I have, I've told you I was, I have worked 32 hours uh, before I came here. So, but you don't see stress. I'm very calm. I don't have stress. I love my work. So, if you can find your space where you can live happily without stress, your life is better. Right. So one of the way I, I find is my qigong that I do in between. And you find yours uh, in the art, but some kind of art is important, you know, sculpture, Very important. painting, music, yes, you know, music, 
Absolutely. It's so satisfying. You know, music really affects you, what you're thinking. That's why I'm promoting good music. We have to go back to good movies. Like you can sit together with family and watch movie. Now we have adult movie, there's this movie. Tell me about, I understand you have one of your offices is in Oprah Studio. Yes. Here in, in Hollywood. Yes. And now you have a cantor Estre Leon uh, bringing her music to Every. the people that are working there. Tell us about that. I love bit. Cantor Estre Leon music. I, she's performing in my office right. every single Wednesday because I want to start this, this calming and it's very soothing. Her music is very nice. I play in my car all the time. When right. my kids are I'm driving the car, I got four all the time. So these four are going crazy with each other or arguing. I turn the music on. It calms them. They, they get it's amazing. It's yeah, amazing. They, they become quieter and they want to hear the music. So See? the music that's playing in your office on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. the people that actually work yes. in Oprah's studio, Oprah they, studio yeah. and they come and, yeah. and, and, and listen. listen. Yeah, wow. and, and I just stay calm. We turn on the lights. We have uh, candle lights. Very nice, very nice music. I love her music. What a great idea. You can idea. go Esther Leon, Cantor Esther Leon, beautiful music. Can't, yes, and she's doing, and she has a partner that's Ivar Perez. Perez, yes. extremely and talented. Talented and beautiful. He, he's an artist himself. He's yes. a direct, uh, 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 producer, director. Mm -hmm. He works the, uh, for many, many years at the uh, Matrix Theater. So all our friends are artists. All our friends do well, the that's arts. That's where Art for Peace you know, award came into art being. Art for Peace. And, yes, you right. know, and you know, all the people that you've chosen, the ambassadors, they I all didn't had them. something special. Well, they chose they're you? They're supposed to be part of me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> but anyway, it's amazing how many people. Now you've just brought them all together. Yes. And let's see what's going to happen. October Big Big 16th. Thing. October 16th is our grand finale. Grand finale. Grand finale. Can people uh, come and see this event? Yes, How yes. You can go online. Uh, on, you can go Art for Peace Awards and uh, you will be able to purchase tickets. It will link you to where you can go. But buy the tickets very soon because... Uh, and they, they can get the do. tickets. We can put them up, put, put it on the show. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. And then they can... They can uh, yeah, just like Oscars or Grammys or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mooney, it's going to be very You're big something event. special. <laughs> Thank you. I, I adore you <laughs> and I you. just know that we're going to have a great life if we do the things that you're talking about. Yeah. And you know what? There's you, no if, everything you, will happen. You walk it, you do it, it yes. it's your life. Yeah, I'm and a anyway, runner. I anyway, run and I get things done. A runner. <laughs> yes, I run. Well, so, there's a winner in you and I thank you. am so glad to be involved with what you're doing. And thank you. Hopefully everyone else that's gonna be experiencing the things that you do. Thank and you. You are the queen of Beverly Hills. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. A for award.org. Yes, a say that again. A and for number four, P like a Paul, awards with a S dot org. Thank you. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, and, for and I want to thank show. you, Mooney, because <laughs> you I interviewed you and now you interviewed me and hope we can do My more pleasure. shows together. My pleasure. I love and, to. And give the information to the people of the great things you are doing here. Thank and you. they may want to join us. That's right. And that's important. Anyway, thank you. thank you from Beverly Hills, Hollywood. Here we are, West Hollywood. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Pasquale's Eye on the Arts.